Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Stop but yo, let's keep it moving though, because we got we got a couple of previews. Yeah, man. yeah, let's preview this bullshit. Yeah, so I mean, so pretty much we got probably what's gonna be the biggest fight in the big one of the biggest events of the year because niggas like you know niggas like the fuckery, the bullshit. Of course, I'm talking about Tyson Fury, our reigning heavyweight champion, decided to go get a bag from the Saudis, you know, and to face none other than Francis Ugano, who is making his pro boxing debut. After getting released from UFC and being offered a bag of somewhere around ten to twelve million dollars to fight Fury, who is making a lot more, reportedly. So obviously, you know, ESPN, you know, of course, went into overdrive. ESPN has no problems putting like you know, showing all the clips, showing so showing a wild ass Mike Tyson promo. Actually doing a thirty-minute special on this fucking on this fucking shit, like, uh, I, and I watch it. And it's like, and I'm thinking to myself, they really did this, you know. And it has all the engagement in the world. ESPN, ringside, they can't stop talking about this shit. That's 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 because he 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 always copes it. And I'm always seeing all this crazy shit on him. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, they don't do that with anybody else. With uh, nobody else, but. Nigga, Shakur Stevenson has a fight in less than a month, and I haven't seen goddamn shit from like that. Cause, like, cause you know what it is? We got to the point where, even though boxing has mainstream fights, like certain media outlets only care about the 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 big attractions, the spectacles. Yeah. And so regular boxing gets lost in the mix, and it never really was like that. But over the last maybe 10 years, it kind of got to that. And I kind of blame all the super fights taking so long to right. happen. Mm -hmm. So it almost seemed like boxing wouldn't exist for months and months. And then, oh, these niggas fighting. Then then they'll get a little preview, a little shine. And it just kept happening and happening until like the MMA niggas and all these other random jumped in. And it's like, huh. mm -hmm. like, yeah, we got to. Like we, let's do this for boxing. Oh, we don't mind now because it's a spectacle again. Like it's right. like they just really expecting that from boxing instead of like okay, like we got some good quality highlights and normal fights and shit that they want to promote. But nope. Yeah, and then Android. I, I know Android's reading his comments. Fury bad, not Kerry Francis. The casuals are, are going to compare him to Wilder. I mean, shit, I mean. They're doing that already. Like, you know, I mean, that, that literally, that's the whole, that's the whole sale of this fight. That Ugano has the highest recorded punch, what, like, you know, punch, whatever. And all, all it takes is one shot. All it takes is one shot, right? That's how they're selling it. Yeah, that's how they're selling it against someone who's absorbed. Um, the biggest shot you can shots. take in boxing. The biggest shot you can take in boxing. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And he's gotten his ass up every fucking time. You know, and then yeah, Andrew said there's a tweet out there with the promo that has to be like 188 million views on it. Yeah, that, cause, yeah, they like the bullshit. Like it is what it is. Like you know, but not only they like it, they promote it a lot. Like that's it. They, you see how Golden Boy promoted that uh super bad KO or that damn uh, soccer mom. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. then it just caught on to everyone else. Mm -hmm. Like that could literally happen every week if the powers that be would just do a simple retweet for certain shit. I mean, I would think because you know, because they have you know they have the Shakur shit. It's on a it's a double header on Thursday. You would think that they were, okay. Where's the special? I want to know. I, I want to know the behind the scenes. Like the whole that, that card is shipping up to be something very good. And I like I said, there's no promo on it. I haven't seen no promo. You know, you, you see Shakur on or them on, on just on some other on other like platforms, but they don't see them on ESPN. Like none of that shit. Like or top regular, like you know. Where's like promote that shit? I want to because that that's that, that's a good fucking card, but but no, you know we, we get Fury and Ngannou like it, and honestly I know most people you know are happy because I mean the ones that kind of you know that kind of take this shit a little serious in terms of what Fury does is either a the motherfuckers that don't like Fury because of the Wilder shit or two they believe in Ngannou and his power or three MMA fans who don't know or respect the art of boxing. And he'd be thinking, he'd be saying some old bullshit, which I've seen plenty of. <laughs> I've seen plenty of that shit. Yeah. So it's it's. The okay. Android be schooling these motherfuckers. Every time I scroll through Twitter, he damn letting a motherfucker know about nuances and shit. I mean, I mean, but motherfuckers do need to be educated. So I just like the tweet and keep it moving. You know, 
Right, you know, but it's just, it's, it's just like, you know, like, I mean, I'm not deluded myself to be thinking, like, no, like, it's not going to take, like, in kind of like, the stuff that, and granted, he has Mike Tyson training him, and Mike Tyson is not a person, uh, Mike Tyson has a foundation, like, you can learn from Mike Tyson, but you, uh, in order to pull up what Mike Tyson teaches, you got to have, you got to have some, you got to have something, some real physical attributes, and a guy who really only has power, He's slow. He's slow with his hands. He's slow with his feet. Like, he's slower than Joe Joyce. Those bro. Mix, yeah, those mix, I, I haven't. You know, sometimes you you know get impressed with with certain, with certain guys in the mix. But I every time I see him on the mix, I'm like, the fuck is that? That's it. No. <laughs> I mean, I ain't expecting him to look like fucking Lenares, but damn. No, I know, but I mean, like, yeah, like so slow and sluggish. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, and I, I, I would have thought that he would have lost some weight for this shit because, you know, that's what happens when you kind of train in boxing. It looks like he didn't really lose weight like that. Like, it's just he like... didn't really train. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's not promo clips. Yeah, and and and, 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 and like I said, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's great that, you know, Ogano, like, he, you know, he signed to PFL and all this shit like that, but it's just like, you're getting a bag for this shit. I would have thought you would have put a little bit more effort in your boxing stuff. And I, I, I just don't see it. I don't see it all. I know, I know my brother is a big MMA fighter. We talk about this shit. He looks at it and he even says, like, "Yeah, I know. Yeah, Fury's probably gonna whoop his ass." And that's that's really that's really what anyone should be thinking. Dude, the top fifty heavyweight will whoop them. Uh, he'll probably Gano. care. I mean, Fury's just you know whether we like him or not, he's a showman. I'm sure he'll carry it a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm sure he'll at least like make it. You know, somewhat watchable. I don't know. I mean, it will probably the, the spectacle itself will be because I think people will be engaged on it because it's two big motherfuckers in the ring. Yeah. Heavyweight, heavyweights have an appeal. Oh wait, wait, time the fuck out, bro! Like, are we really comparing Tyson career to goddamn Sean Porter? Really? <laughs> hey, we, got, hey, we got a Sean Porter stand out here. It's all good. It's all good. Like, not, no, I'm saying like, 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 really, like, like, like niggas is questioning Tyson, Mike Tyson being a Hall of Famer. Mike Tyson wrapped up the division. Like, wrapped up like, his what division. The fuck? Are you twelve years old, nigga? Like, yeah, no. Like, if you if you were if you were in the Tyson era as a like, you know, Tyson was huge. Like, Tyson wrapped up his division in his first in his first career before jail. Like, t- like Tyson literally was boxing. Like, he, and that's, that's because those big wins weren't big to you. Michael Spinks was a crazy big win. Larry yeah. Holmes, big win. Razor Ruddick big win like like dude like what the fuck like come on man it, it's it's because right, yeah, like, he, he, he lost the he lost the way resume it's because he lost the holy field lennox lewis and evander you know i mean you know uh, you know never about buster but yeah. i'm saying it's because he after he got out of prison he lost the big fights that's what probably what but he's still those unified niggas were like else. 90s era fighters yeah 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 and my cousin's not was really a 90s hype era. machine motherfucker was born he came in the 80s so you trap me you might be a little bit young for this conversation bro like yeah honestly. like you, you can sit this one out he's yeah. a product of the 90s hype machine bro like were you like dude dude all right all right, all right chill like we just going no but gonna regulate you to sean porter comments Tyson sometimes overrated somewhat to um casuals but underrated to the quote-unquote hardcores i feel like yeah, no, because cause... the reason why it's so polarizing because niggas is either dick riding crazy or just hating crazy. Mm-hmm. It's always one of the end, and it's like ring gang. We just try to be straight down the middle, like yo, he's a hall of famer, he's legit. Yeah, he might be overrated in certain spaces, but he's definitely legit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tyson's like, right. Like, like I said, he's overrated a little bit, but he's yeah. all time great. But you have to understand, Tyson's biggest rivals, both Lennox Lewis and Holyfield, both show him the craziest amount of respect. And these, and especially Lewis, Lewis is not the type to respect anyone really like that. And they they show him respect, and there's a reason why they do, even though they built professionally beat him in the ring. Like you know, Tyson. You know, Tyson. Tyson's skills. Tyson is probably the last oh, two oh, no. yeah. heavyweight uh, fighter that was actually good. It was above average defensively and above average offensively. There's been no heavyweight since that had that t- his type of that that type of uh, duality. Like you know, so Teddy Atlas isn't a casual. Have you heard his damn boxing takes once he left ESPN? He may as well be a casual. Teddy's Teddy and Teddy has a bias against him because of yeah, know, like yeah. T- Teddy's the wrong name to use here, bro. For your point, yeah, because Teddy had Teddy has a bias against Mike Tyson that goes beyond the boxing shit. Like you know, yeah, you know. So I mean, 
I, I would not. I would never expect Teddy to really be, you know, to really give Tyson any type. And I, I don't blame him, but at the same time, I wouldn't use Teddy Atlas as an example. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure a lot of niggas wouldn't use me as an example to, to speak on Canelo. Like, <laughs> right. and even then, I'll say Canelo, a Hall of Famer, great fighter, yada yada yada. But you're like, one of the best Mexican fighters of all time. But then, but like yeah. I said, though, if Tyson, if Mike Tyson was so overrated, fucking Tyson Fury's father named the dude named Tyson Fury after him, literally. You know, like, you know, and because he, because you know, because John Fury. But you know, Mike Tyson was you know was a special fighter. He was that dude, and he and he was what he wanted his son to be a fighter. So like you know, so again, that that's a huge fail. Like you, like you can say Mike Tyson is overrated in some things because you think he could have accomplished more, but you can't say that you know that him and Porter. There's a there's a world of difference between a Sean Porter and a Mike Tyson. Yeah, uh, like he, worlds of difference. worlds of difference. Sean Porter doesn't even have Mike Tyson's boxing skills, never mind his career. Yo, like, say it. Like, what, what does Sean Porter do better than damn Mike Tyson, first of all? Like, we, oh my God. Like, I know niggas got to be trolling sometimes. Yeah, no, like, yeah, I, I yeah, I, you know, it's one of those, it's a weird fucking conversation. Like, you know, but, you know, like I said, you know, but Mike Tyson, though, if, if you ever see Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson is a student of boxing. Mike Tyson has a lot to, Mike Tyson can teach. But he is saying a lot of BS in this build up. You know, to sell the fight, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to, you know, you got to sell the fight because Mike Tyson is the name. Mike Tyson is a huge name in boxing still. Mike Tyson is still, motherfuckers can still be heavyweight champion again. But you call him overrated. Like, like no, they don't, we don't say that about Lennox Lewis or Holyfield. This nigga said Porter is Tyson without the power. Oh, get the fuck out of here, No, bro. no. Like, you, you, you're, you're, you're too, I'm not gonna, uh, you're too young for this conversation. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got yeah, Okay, like that was it, like, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're too if, young If you say anything else about Tyson, we just gonna consider you trolling, nigga. Like, yeah, you're trolling, yeah, you're, you're too young for this Cause conversation. Cause it's like, ain't no way. <laughs> Next thing, y'all niggas gonna be saying, yo, Henry Aquande is, you know, Better than Joe Lewis. Like, <laughs> like that, that's what you're saying. Like when you say Sean Porter, I'm not young. <laughs> did, did that make hold on. So are, are you 35 or older? If you're 35 and older, then you should absolutely know better than what you're saying. Yes. Mm. If you're 35 and older and, and saying this, that's bad. Yeah. So this is one of those things where you know if niggas think you young, just go with it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm 19. <laughs> well, but at, least, but, but at least Mike Tyson dared to sell the fight, and it's a, it's a spectacle because, you know, Mike Tyson has his own relationship with the Saudi Arabians. They love him over there, so it's like he's always over there. So you basically have your spectacle here. And the funny thing is, too, is, like, FanDuel doesn't even have the odds on this, but I've seen the odds in other places, you know, um, like, you know, and going to being, like, 13 to 15 to 1 underdog, like, you know, so, and rightfully so. You should be, yeah. It was like immediately, if not you know, more, you should, really. Yeah, and I think I, I don't remember. This is, I, mean, I, I think this is a ten round fight. It's not twelve round. I don't think it should. Be. I mean, I think it's a ten. I think it's ten. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm gonna think myself. I, I know. Not, you know. Yeah, it. Is it on box rec yet? Not. No, it's not a box rec. Because apparently, uh, B- uh box rec Gray says no commission has actually released an official report on it, so he hasn't added the fights on box rec. I did. I seen all those tweets. I thought that was kind of odd because these are all official fights. These are not. These are not. These are fights that are not going on their record. So it's kind of weird that he's, you know. I mean, I understand the stance he's taking, but it's it's fucking weird. So again, I mean, I, I mean, in terms of, I mean, I know all of us pretty much thinking that Fury will probably get rid of Duke. So what round are we thinking Fury is going to get rid of Ngannou? So we're two, four. Pilot, four, six. Is, it, it, yeah, I'm thinking six two. I, I, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna play with him. Pause. He'll carry it. Pause. He'll carry him a little bit. Yeah. 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 Unless Agano, unless Agano has one of them paper chins that even if he takes like a a fucking jab from Fury, that's more enough to fucking have him have him on a uh, alternative lifestyle street. I should say that. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But yeah, I I do think I think I think Fury will kind of play up the carny aspect or whatever. And yeah, and then Agano will probably get tired within two rounds or so, and then you know he'll, he'll put him away probably by six two. Yeah, I, I yeah. I mean, with that Usyk fight on the horizon, like yeah, you know, exactly. You need to be taking too many chances. Fight shouldn't go past three, honestly. That's yeah. what I was originally going to say, but I was like, you know what, two. Like, I still feel like we're do a brutal knockout early. 
you know, sorry, Catterall, you ain't delivering. So. Yeah, and, and, and just, yeah, cause, cause that's because that side, because I know Fury does not want Engano like accidentally cutting him or some shit like that, because that's gonna push the fight back. So I know Fury's gonna be on some. Yeah, I mean, I, since that fight's made, I'm pretty sure like self preservation is gonna be the word uh, about about this. And I, I know Engano's like once Engano gasses, he's gonna be useless in the ring against Fury. Like, I mean, it, it's not gonna take much. Like, I saw people talk about maybe all Engano needs to do is to clinch Fury. So that's a horrible strategy. That's a Fury, Fury, Fury fights well on the inside. Fury can, has inside skills. Fury can clinch, and Fury knows how to lean your lean his weight on people. That's a horrible. You don't want Fury. You don't really want to fight Fury like that unless you got Wilder. I mean, Wilder explosive power, which a gun who does not have the explosive of his punches to even to to do that. Like that's not a thing that you want to do with Fury. Is to you know is to I mean even people that were around this size like uh like uh, Vladimir Klitschko even he couldn't really do that and he's strong as shit so it's yeah. like oh but shout, hold on shout out to uh, Anthony I saw the comment there how about Vitaly Klitschko in terms of being great offensively and being above average defensively yeah. Get, uh, well, Vitaly I mean you know mo most maybe me personally I'd say Vitaly is more you know. It's, Better than his brother, but his brother had a better Definitely. legacy. His brother had a better legacy. His brother had a better. You know, no, no. I mean, yeah. Vlad has the better career. Vitaly was probably more. I mean, Vitaly was just cursed with the body because he put it because he spent a lot of his prime kickboxing and shit like that. So, you know, it, better it, fighter, it, worse career. That's all. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's still a great career, but not as good as. Yeah, you know, it's, it's still a great career. Honestly, I feel like. I don't even see Vladimir's career being that much better than Vitaly. He had some lows, yeah, because Vlad had some lows. I think it kind of evens lows. out a little bit. Vlad had a couple bad, couple bad losses. So like, and so is Vitaly. That that Chris Bird loss was a, it was not a good loss for him. Like, but he only got two bad losses, whereas like Vladimir got like, uh, three or four. <laughs> yeah, like, and their best wins are like. Rest in peace to Corey Sanders, but he had no business for that. I mean, Corey, no, Corey Sanders. I mean, he shouldn't have lost him, but Corey Sanders is a motherfucker to fight. Like, you have yeah, to, yeah. yeah, Corey Sanders was a. Well, you, you couldn't sleep on Corey Sanders because, you know, that motherfucker hit hard and he hit fast. So that was, you know. And yeah, Anthony, I mean, yeah, that's the thing about the exhibition fights. Like, people are paying their money for it. You know, they know this, they got to put on a show. So I don't. They gotta carry him a little bit. I yeah, mean, it's it, it's seventy nine ninety nine for the Jesus fight. Christ, seventy nine. Stop. Mm. Like okay. However, I will give the, I, I will give this car one uh, one um one like real props to this. Like it, it's a, it's an all heavyweight car, pretty heavy much. Weight, like yeah, there's some like let's put this way because it is bad though when you get a fight like this and this is like one well, these are the type of fights that actually showcase heavyweight fights, especially one. The the co-main with fucking uh, Fabio Wardley and David Adelaide, that's that's the co-main, and that's gonna be a huge, that's gonna be a slugfest. Like that's gonna be a huge fucking slugfest. Yeah, Wardley, getting... yeah. <laughs> Sorry, pilot. Yeah, Wardley's part. I mean, and then, uh, I, I, Wardley's I, gonna that. I, I'm, I'm gonna say I told you so again. Wardley, Wardley's gonna knock this guy out, guaranteed. Pilot's guaranteed in a month. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I mean, I've seen both of them. Wardley's been looking <laughs> shakier, shakier than a bitch lately. So that's the thing. Like. I, <laughs> This nigga yeah, had like, coffee I, looking good against him. Like, come on. Yeah, exactly. And they got uh, what they got the um the, the guy um uh, Oslenbach on there, Makhmadov. Yeah, Makhmadov is on there, and he you know, and then Parker versus Simon Keen, and that one I mean, Simon Keen is he lacks in talent, but motherfucker's twenty three and one with twenty two knockouts, and Parker's kind of on the slide. So that's a, then that's another one, and then Bacol, Martin Bacoli and Carlos Takam. That's that, another that one. Place, that's gonna be. Uh, uh, God damn! This is this is not this is not a bad like heavyweight it's card. Heavyweight, it's, it's heavyweight, not. Man. It's really like, not. Like, like I feel like you'll see some scraps. Like it's gonna be a little yeah. earlier because Abu Dhabi is gonna be earlier in the day a little bit. Yeah, because it, it's at two o'clock. It starts at two, so it's like. <laughs> yeah, like like I said, like this card. I mean, I give it this part because like they loaded. This, I mean, they know it's bullshit, so they loaded up with. Interesting heavyweight fights because there's basically there's gonna be fades on all these on all those on all those heavyweight fights in some fashion, like some of them brutal too. Like the better be some knock, there better be at least a couple, at least three, you know, cold ass knockouts on this. I hope. I'm pretty sure there's going to be, especially that co-main. If that co-main goes a distance, that means something went terribly wrong. <laughs> you know, so like that's that's what I'm saying. But yeah, like 
they, they built up the card at least to before the bullshit with heavyweight action. And truthfully, I would love American boxing to do something like this. They used to do heavyweight explosion fucking cards back in the day. HBO used heavies. to do these fucking heavyweight fights, heavyweight cards back in the day. Like, they need to do some shit like this. Like, it shouldn't be, like, you know, they shouldn't be just on a bullshit ass pay per view like this. Like, you know, it really shouldn't be. Like, I mean, Wardley and Adelaide is probably the most, like, you don't see heavyweight prospects getting matched up like that at, at, at all. Like, no, not since fucking um, Ajaba and um, Frank Cuban. Sanchez. Frank Sanchez. Is, so, uh, yeah, I'm Frank sorry, Sanchez. Sorry, yeah. Like, real quick, but, so, the Warrior Deli is, is the Comey, I assume, right? Yeah, it's, it's okay. Comey. Absolutely. So, so it's like they built up the card, so it's like I mean, at least before the bullshit, you'll get like you you'll get some heavyweight fades as it should be. You get some proper heavyweight fights. <laughs> yeah, some proper heavyweight fights, and you know, in the brothers, like you know, they, they just need more of this. Like you can't just have these heavyweight, like you know, kids can be like once in a while because you know, heavyweight division moves slow as it is. So it's like make more of these shits, you know, like you know. Like you can't. You, can't. Like you need a night of the heavies card like every four months or so. Exactly, you know, it, 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 it's fucking exactly, man. So, so yeah, I mean, like, I mean, even like I said, even if the boys, like, I mean, it should be a good fucking watch, like, you know, I mean, you, I mean, it should be entertaining too. And I, I like I said, I'll, I'll look, I won't be watching that lot since I'll be driving to a wedding or whatever. But um, you know, hopefully, they'll, hopefully, all these fights will be readily available <laughs> in, in the places that I know of. Um, after all, um, after all this, and uh, Joshua, oh, I just see you pop in. Salute, salute, uh, Catterall. That's, that's a great analogy. I mean, but yeah, Catterall mm. equals UK Barboza. These two need to fight each other. <laughs> yeah. you I Barboza feel you like, on that. And Barboza ain't been, ain't been doing nothing since he left top rank. You don't hear nothing about them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was supposed to take a title shot, but he he, he turned that shit down. But it's like, hey, you want to turn down title shots? That's on you, bro. Yeah, because my whole thing is these niggas be complaining they never get their looks. And then when they get it, they don't hype up the fight, don't promote it, they're mad, they're sulking, or mm-hmm. they don't take the title fight. So it's like, I used to feel like, damn, Barbosa, like, like you're quality enough where I want to see you get that shot at the top. But it just seemed like, like I don't know, some of these niggas just don't care like you want them to care. So it's just, yeah, they, they keep shooting themselves in the foot, niggas. That's, that's, that's yeah. the problem. It's like, Okay, 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 uh, Barbosa. Here's your title shot. Well, I don't think I'm ready for this fight. It's just like, then what the fuck are you fighting for, bro? Like, yeah, because obviously niggas weren't trying to give you no no money fight. Like, yeah, like, so you get the title chance, go for it. Like, I don't like, and then it's like the whole like, like I don't know. Boxers need to just if y'all gonna call someone out or say someone's ducking you, y'all gotta stand on that. 24 7 365 facts like you can't just say it for a couple weeks or a month or you go have one interview and mention it and then it just drops you always gotta have that smoke for them and i felt like him not really putting his foot down and really just going at to and the other names out there like kind of hurt him like Mm -hmm. because he's not having the type of performances where you remember the performances you got to make the audience, the, the fans, remember your mouth. Pause. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, though. Like, you got to say shit. You got to, you know what I mean? And it's it's like, 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 you can't be boring in the norm. And I'm sorry, he's boring in the ring. And you can't be boring in the ring and out the ring. At least have a personality if you're kind of... Like Hitchens. You know, Hitchens might be a little boring out yeah. the ring. But he can at least talk in interviews engaging. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, he'll at least Hitchens to talk your shit. Like, dude, Barbosa, like, talk your shit. Like, because I remember seeing him on... I think he Twitter, he was saying like, oh yeah, anybody, everybody hit me up. I'm trying to do interviews, this, this, that. And then he didn't do interviews. <laughs> he didn't do it. <laughs> was like, what the fuck? Like, bro, like people are tired of like clamoring around you, trying to like, you know, give you the promo run, trying to give you the extra damn, the yeah, sauce, yeah, the yeah. juice, all that NPC. shit. You can't be NPC in your boxing unless you got a, unless you got a dad that talks for you or, or you can do something. Cause... Yeah. And when you get your opportunity to talk your shit, talk your shit. Mm-hmm. Word, word. Say it with your chest. <laughs> word. Like, y'all yeah. niggas are like, oh my God. It's like me and Pat said before. Like, 140 is like, too congested, especially in that division. 140 is way too congested. Yeah, to be quiet. Like, what the fuck? Like, 
niggas just don't care about being boxers like they used to 20, 30 years ago. Like it just I, I'm convinced of that now. Like yeah, boxing like, used to be something where you brag about it, be like, yo, like, yeah, yeah, my like, uncle a boxer. Now it's like your uncle's a boxer. Like, did, did he fight Jake Paul? He's on YouTube. It's, it's not. I'm a boxer. It's I box now. So yeah, know. yeah. Like, nigga, if you just box at the gym, you box. But if you're a pro fighter, nigga, you're a boxer. Act like it. God damn. <laughs> For real. But yeah, I want to get to this last preview, and then I'll then hit the comments too, because I know there's a lot of comments. I know Anthony Manzano's going sick of those comments. Yes, so, so 